<laughs> On today's Taco Tuesday, we're making tacos from turkey wings. Yes, you heard me right, turkey wings. Believe it or not, they are fantastic. They look and they smell terrific. And I'm gonna show you two different recipes today to make tacos with turkey wings. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if I have another tasteless, boneless, skinless chicken breast, I really don't wanna even eat it. So I've started using turkey wings for all kinds of different things, in salads and in tacos. And I'm gonna give you two recipes today that I think you are going to fall over yourself to make because they are so incredibly delicious. And believe it or not, so the tasteless chicken costs like $6.99 a pound. This cost, all this turkey costs $2. One of the recipes that we're gonna make is turkey with mole. And if you've never had mole, trust me, you really, really, really have to try it. I had never had it until I was in my early 20s and uh, my friend Yolanda from Albuquerque had me taste it and I have just fallen in love with it ever since. It's a very complicated sauce to make but the good thing is once you make it, you make a ton of it and you can freeze it and it keeps like forever. And it has all kinds of things in it, dried chilies, tomatoes, tomatillos, onions, French bread, sesame seeds, cinnamon. I mean, it's really a hodgepodge of different things, but it is incredible and it traditionally goes with turkey, um, often a turkey breast, but today we're gonna do it with turkey wings. And if you want the recipe, go buy this cookbook, Cafe Pasquale's in Santa Fe, and that is the recipe that you should use. Or you don't have to make mole either. At most taquerias, you can buy mole. You can buy a, a bowl of it for two servings or more if you want. So you don't actually have to make it every time. Um, if for some reason you live in a part of the country that doesn't have mole, first of all, I'm really sad for you. But second, I'm gonna give you another recipe that has ingredients that everybody has and you can use your turkey wings on that. Okay, you've seen me do this a million times. A little bit of olive oil in your pan first for your Swiss chard, and then your garlic, because you want this to be nice and garlicky, and let that roam around in there. And then I have some homemade pepperoncino, but you can use red pepper too. So, you know, don't feel like you have to go dehydrate peppers like I do. I'm the only crazy person probably who makes their own pepperoncino, but it's really good. And then as soon as the garlic starts to get a little color and you can smell it, then we're gonna put in our chard. It smells so good. You know, I was just at my mom's house in Florida and we went to three different stores to get Swiss chard for a dinner we were making. And I realized how spoiled I am here in my garden. I just go chop it whenever I want it. And it's so, it's so amazing how good it is fresh because when you have it fresh like this, you'll notice that it cooks down to almost nothing because it's just so beautiful. Jane Garmay needs to keep up her strength. I'm sorry that I'm wearing sunglasses, but it is so bright and hot today in Northern California that I'll be squinting at you if I don't wear them. So give me a pass. Oh, one moment, Constrain Gourmet needs to keep up our strength. Okay, 
So you, for your first taco with the mole, you're going to first put down a little bit of Swiss chard that we sauteed earlier, right on the bottom. And make sure it's kind of flat because, you know, you don't want too much Swiss chard, just a little bit. And then you're going to put on this gorgeous, incredible turkey wing meat. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. My dog is like, he's panting so hard because it smells so good. It's driving him crazy. And then we're gonna put some of this gorgeous mole over the top. And then a little ramp that we grilled right here. How good does that look? <laughs> okay, so if you don't have any mole or access to mole, what I would suggest is that you take an avocado and just do a smash with some lemon or lime juice. I got a little bit of onion in here as well. And then you're gonna put some of your beautiful turkey meat right on it. It smells so good. I can't, I really, it's hard for me not to eat it. And then make a little bit of coleslaw, um, cabbage, Sal, uh, carrot, cabbage, carrot, uh, red onion, a little bit of olive oil, and lime juice. And here is your other beautiful turkey. Yum!